So we know that, that water is actually uh, not uh, magnetic, but uh, water usually uh, strongly influenced by the uh, static electricity of the electric field. So I will show you um, it is short experiments that how water bends in the presence of a static electricity. So this is a beaker. In this beaker we have a we have a lot of magnets, and these magnets essentially generate here more than one Tesla uh, magnetic field. So we can see even I bring the magnet, uh, bring this magnet uh, close to this water, the water, the flow of water is actually not changing. So it is more or less the steady flow and the continuously uh, moving in the one direction, uh, not changing its direction at all. Now, let's let's take a uh, plastic, uh, small uh, plastic container. And then let's see what will happen if I mm, if I wrap this plastic container by my uh, with my hands, and then uh, place this plastic container close to this uh, water. Oh, you see, it immediately bends a lot and dramatically changes the direction of the uh, water uh, water flow. So once more, I'll I'll just um, I'll just wrap my hands. Um, and then I'll place this uh, plastic uh, container close to this uh, water, flowing water, and then uh, we can see that water is dramatically bending. What is actually happening, uh, the explanation is very simple. So, even though water is not magnetic, but it is actually strongly influenced by the electric field. So, as I actually rub my hands in this plastic uh, container, then there is a um, electricity, or the, that is a static charge actually accumulated here, and then these charges are actually um, started to polarize the uh, started to polarize the uh, the hydrogen um, molecule or the H2 molecule inside this uh, the water, and that's actually uh, bending uh, the flow uh, the flow of the water. This is a very simple experiment. One can easily perform it um, in your house. Just you need a flowing um, water and a small uh, plastic uh, container.